So I've used the iPhone 12 mini for about a month now. And in this video, I'm gonna let you guys know my experience. So if you're excited, drop a like and let's begin. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the screen size. Now, yes, you can do side-by-side -side comparisons all day. This is a smaller phone. I'm not denying that. It's smaller than the usual phones out there today, not including the 6, 7, 8, and SE. Those are about the same size as this phone, just like two centimeters smaller. Back on the iPhone 12 mini, the screen gives you a really good display. 5.4 inches is still big enough. It's better, in my opinion, than the 6.1 inch, which is now kind of like the standard display. This offers you the full screen design, it goes edge to edge, so it's not like you're losing out here. So I've talked about the screen, but what about using the phone in hand? This is actually my favorite form factor. It practically weighs nothing, so it's easy to put in your pocket and easy to hold in your hand. And no, I don't have tiny hands. It's just phones have gotten so big, but it's also annoying, in my opinion, to have that big, heavy phone. Using it one-handed isn't easy. With this phone, it is. Having a more compact phone makes sense. It's more lightweight, which is easy to take around and easier to hold. Another thing I've noticed is people would just think you have to have the biggest phone because you're consuming content. Well, I would say I've adapted to the screen size and it doesn't feel small at all. But if I wanted to go to a bigger screen, I could obviously go to my iPad or my TV. So like, I don't really don't see the big concern of like, it's too small or you're gonna not be able to see it. Like, Come on, give me a break. I can see it. This is my first time having an iPhone with a OLED display. And I gotta say, it's super nice. I noticed a big improvement in the colors and how amazing the quality is. Now, an average consumer might not care, might not notice the difference. I do, and I appreciate how the screen just has that more natural color, more natural 4K OLED look. You know what I'm saying? Like the 4K OLED TVs. It's basically that, but on your iPhone. So everything on the iPhone looks super clean. So now let's talk about the cameras. So obviously you have the regular wide angle lens, but then you have a added bonus, which is the ultra wide angle, which gives you a more wide angle shot, whether it's for videos or photos, it's just gonna make it a lot easier to take them. Like it's actually, I've actually enjoyed using this and there's a bunch of different cool features the cameras allow for. The quality is probably about the same, but it's also been improved because the sensors are obviously different than past generation iPhones. So it just looks more clean. The battery life on the iPhone 12 mini is nothing special, but I don't want to make it sound like it's a bad battery because it's definitely manageable to charge it every now and then. I find that it lasts me throughout the day I might have to charge it once or twice during the day, but it just really depends. I wouldn't say I charge it more than two times a day. If that, I charge it once a day most of the time. It depends what you're doing on your iPhone. And I noticed with the iPhone XR that I previously had, I charged it all the time. Like not, not all the time, but you know, when you're doing something that uses a lot of battery and it drains it, you're obviously gonna charge it throughout the day. So I did that quite a bit. It's definitely like less battery than XR, but it's definitely manageable. And I also made a video over there talking about how to manage the battery life on the 12 mini and tips and tricks. So if you want to check that out, you can check that out. So one month later, I find this to be an amazing iPhone. Day to day, I enjoy and appreciate the experience. I'll continue to let you know my experience as time goes on, as well as make helpful videos about it. So for more videos just like this, you can click over here to get subscribed, that way you don't miss another video. And if you wanna see how to manage iPhone 12 mini battery life, click over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.